Welcome back to Dragonfall, where of course I had to run my mouth near the end of this mission, and so it dropped a big combat on me near the end. Um, Alright, so we've got like four drone allies. Or three? No, one, two, three, four. Of course, it's hard to see them on the map. Um, and I, I guess they get a turn before ours? Um, I'm trying to figure out, so we got one, two, let's see, mage, man in suit, quarantine technician, enforcer, grenadier, conjurer. I'd like to take out the grenadier as fast as possible. Um, you see the one who did 35 damage to me last turn? I think he did. Um, this is a Hail Mary, but I think the alternative is getting pretty quickly fucked up by... Are you kidding me? That never happened. Hey, game, are you gonna? Okay, thank you. Uh, yeah. Um, I don't love, you know, I just thought of this. I don't know, I don't think I've addressed this directly before. There are some of these attacks that have like special, they're basically an attack plus additional features, right? And I don't love love the like raw, hey, did you hit or not? It's all or nothing. It seems to me it would be a much more nuanced and interesting thing if the system allowed for, okay, you hit, but only with a certain level of success. So you still hit them and did damage, but like this extra effect didn't proc or something like that. I know that's not how most, most tabletop systems are built and neither is Shadowrun, but... Yeah, um, anyway, uh, definitely still worried about grouping up. With the Grenadier in play, so we're going to try this again. There we go, that's better. Um, I'm thinking about Hastinger, but I don't think with only, with Dietrich only having one AP, it's going to be a dangerous prospect. Um, that's pretty good. Dietrich, you get into this cover, I think. And I still have an 88 to hit this guy. Um, since he's the only one out of cover at the moment. Of course. Okay, so that answers my question. Max can be hurt even when he's not active. Which is... I don't understand how drone... Co oh my god, that's so much damage. What? Will you all fuck off with the grenades? Um... Jeez. 
Jesus. Uh... Like, if you have to sacrifice AP to use it, but otherwise it's just a liability, like in terms of adding targets and overall being... Like, why would it not just be active all the time then? Like, I get that it it's supposed to, like, require your attention, but, like, in world, why would you ever run a drone if it basically just mostly removes you from the fight yourself, right? And that if you're not using it, it's just a nuisance. I don't know. It doesn't doesn't click for me. Um, well, I'm upset now because that was a lot of damage and every fucking asshole has a grenade. Why you took, did you take AP damage? You haven't even, I guess you must have taken AP damage. Of course, it's not going to tell me about it, but wait, no. Okay, I'm not crazy, right? Go back in the video. I swear he was at 1 AP, and then I used control mode, right? Wait, except it didn't work. What? 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 Is this broken? Is Max stunned? Do I have to reactivate him every... This is super broken. Ugh. Okay. Glory, would you help us out, please? This is the adjacent targets, yes, okay. Oh, sweet. Oh, so the thing, because he got stunned, it just despawned? I thought it would, I thought the summon would like go awry or, or like go rampant if, wow, that's super handy. That's like a hard counter. Um, sweet. Hmm. It's unfortunate we don't have another healer. We do have health packs. <sighs> I'm a little confused. Sometimes I get information about who has how much health and sometimes I don't. Like, especially when I was fighting the Basilisk, I definitely had, like, I had an actual health counter. It had 100 health. Um, uh, well, this is unfortunately a buggy mess, and I'm not happy about it. Um... Do I try and haste someone else? Not this turn. Maybe next turn. This is too much. These three guys, these four guys are too much of an immediate threat. We need to eliminate at least one of them before I feel safe doing that. Okay, that's good. 
Is it worth sacrificing 10% to get... F this is their cover bonus. I'm gonna hope this is the right... Oh, that's unfortunate. Hey, could you all fuck off and attack somebody else? Oh my god. Everybody's targeting me. This sucks. This AI needs to... What? I mean, holy shit. Everybody shot me. I complained about this in the last game, but now I'm going to come back to it because this is the first time I think in this one that it's actually been really glaring. What's the point of building a non-tank character if the AI is too stupid to do anything except for focus the one character that actually matters? <laughs> like, it's just... It ruins the mechanics if the AI is this dumb. Is this going to work? It works now. Okay. All right, Glory. I'm going to have you come mop somebody else up instead. Fuck this mage. Although that takes two AP to fire. Um, you have the trauma kit, so you won't die immediately, but I think I have to do my due diligence and try and heal myself first. And then do I try and haste Glory? I think that's smart. I don't know why these hit rates are like this, but... See that? And now I can see their health. Why can I see their health this turn? I'm so fucking confused. Is it because it's... Because I'm... Let's see. It's because I have Glory selected. Is that one of Glory's features that I don't know about? Oh, I forgot Glory. I keep forgetting about her adrenal pump. I don't think it stacks, right? Didn't we est establish that it doesn't stack with haste? Um, <sighs> why is the hit right now 75? I don't know. I don't don't understand anything. It's very frustrating. Kindly die. Thank you. Let's hope I don't miss with this. Pretty good. I hit the robot too, which I don't think was supposed to happen with how I had that set up, but you know what? I don't really care. Yeah, I there's, there's four robots that are firing on them and all they want to do is kill Alice. It's fucking rude. Oh, that's right, 2 AP on that. Um, wow. Oh, 
At least they're missing now. <laughs> Everything's stacked on top of each other. I can't read shit. And the hit rates are so bad. I'm going to cheat and use Glory to see how much health he has. He has nine. He has three. And of course, the hit rates are higher on Nerve Bolt. Um, Blitz still has a turn to take. Nine damage should take out this guy. Yeah, all right, cool. There's that. Max, you... Why? Damn it. Um, can't tase anyone. Could take an aggressive... Let's see, 82%, good. Sh that's, that's what I need, okay. All right, we're down to what? Two guys? This one and that one? I'm sure one of them will spite me by just killing uh, Alice outright. Um, Dietrich, you give me aim, please. And a heal as well. Wow, that's um, really underwhelming damage there. This is five bullets. It only hit twice, though. It only did 18 damage. I don't understand. Oh, I forgot Glory still had... Ah, uh, that would have been smarter. What the fuck? How does it miss? She's standing right there. How does it miss? Why is it 71%? Explain, please, please explain. Just explain the logic. Like, I'll believe you. I just want an explanation. You're not telling me anything. It's like, it's like XCOM all over again. XCOM with the shotgun to the temple and you miss. <sighs> Holy shit, would you fuck off. Thank you. Ah, oh, damn it. All right, well, finish him off with... Fuck it, I've got other people who have turns this turn. Let's get cocky with it, right? Uh, wait, no. No, not this, this. Just... Thank God. All right, fuck off, all of you. As the smoke begins to clear, a cry of jubilation sounds out over over the Sutherland Biosciences build, Bioscience Building's intercom system. We've done it. We've done it, my friends. J the Jebathon hordes have been defeated. With this great victory, I declare my new age of exploration and commerce. My peasants will form trade agreements with our neighboring kingdoms for the betterment of all. Um, yeah, Phil. I hope that works out for you. Farewell, stalwart, stalwart she-elf. We, we will remember you always. 
You hear the rustling sound of Phil pushing himself away from the intercom. A few seconds later, the building's external speakers fall silent. Okay, can we fucking go now? Jesus. Hey, what about the guys that were over here? Were you guys, you guys the spooks? People watching us? Still got nothing to say, huh? Just, just another day, another day in Berlin watching a corporate gang war. Ugh. The U-Bahn trip from back from the Adener Platz is a shaking one, shaky one. Surprisingly, the train is packed. The only empty seats are the very ba at the very back of the car. A haggard-looking young mother art marches down the aisle, dragging her three screaming children behind her. Oh, Jesus. Two boys and a girl, each around six years old. That's not a sentence. That's not a sentence. I keep... How many times do I have to tell you to prove your fucking language? That's not a sentence. You need a, that's not, don't make that an uppercase, make it a semicolon or something. Just not that. <laughs> uh, as the woman nears you, her eyes fix on the frozen pouches of bioengineered meat that you liberated from Sutherland's executive freezer. She opens her mouth to say something, but at that moment, the little girl jams a finger into her brother's nose. The boy howls and the young mother's shoulders slump. Slowly, robotically, she turns back towards her destination and begins to trundle forward, dragging her squalling offspring forward with the solemnity of a funeral procession. Eventually, the train hums to a stop. You debark gratefully, lugging a freezer's worth of Bioware samples behind you. I hate that interaction, but it's also part of the reason I hate it is because it's all too accurate. The parent who has no control of their of their offspring um, but somehow finds the energy and time to criticize you for whatever uh, is an ever-present threat <laughs> and I hate it All right, Kane two karma. We only have six karma. I think that's enough for what we wanted. We'll deal with that in the next episode, though. See you guys then.